thousands of indigenous people traveled from all over the Amazon basin to welcome Pope Francis to Puerto Maldonado, a riverside town known as the gateway to the southern part of this vast jungle. They performed traditional dances and songs and urged him to speak up for them. The native Amazonian peoples have probably never been so threatened on their own land as they are at present. This is a territory that's being disputed on many fronts. One of those is the pressure being exerted by big business interests seeking petroleum, gas, lumber and gold. An environmental and human rights disaster is unfolding in the southeastern region of Peru known as Madre de Dios over that gold. Wildcat miners once sifted for the valuable metal with buckets and wheelbarrows. Then they started to tear through the rainforest with heavy machinery. The mining has flourished into a black market trade thought to be worth billions of dollars, and that is hurting more than the landscape. We always speak about the environment. We say the poor trees, but we don't say much about the rights of boys and girls. Imagine these 70,000 hectares of forest that have been destroyed, have been destroyed by men, and mining is a job fundamentally done by men, around which ancillary activities arise. Thousands of young people have been brought in as victims for these and other activities. Successive political leaders in Peru have failed to slow the illegal gold rush, despite its links to deadly violence, sexual slavery and the plight of indigenous people forced off their land by mining mafias. But for those who've traveled here, the Pope's words were comforting. The Pope was very moving with his words, and we must also give importance to our culture and defend our territory. He wants there to be peace and harmony between us. Protecting the environment is an issue close to the heart of Latin America's first Pope. But there's no easy solution in a land troubled by poverty and corruption. Arabella Munro, TRT World.